So we're gonna do a technique called drag soldering, which is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have, I'm gonna put the, uh, first I'm gonna wet the iron, meaning put solder on it. Then I'm gonna heat up uh, between two pins for about two seconds. And then I'm gonna move on to the next two pins. And I'm just gonna drag the soldering iron down and I'm gonna keep the, the solder with it. So let me get out a nice big uh, or long amount of solder there because this is a very thin spiral. And I'm just gonna put a, a too much on as I go along. And if, there's, if there is way too much at the end, meaning that there's bridges where pins are being connected to each other by solder, then I'll just go back and I'll clean it up and it'll be fine. And I might need to clean the iron again because I've been talking this whole time. It's already starting to oxidize. So let me do that. Put a little on, clean it off, and then put a little more on. And then I'm gonna come down here in between these last two pins. And then I'm gonna add some solder and I'm gonna go to the next two pins. I'm gonna add some solder and go to the next two pins. Add solder, next two, so on and so forth. So I'm just moving down the line and this is not going to work exactly the way that it's um, supposed to and that's okay because we're gonna go back and we're gonna do it again once we do everything once. Oops, let me push this further out. So where are we at here? Right there. Oops. It looks like uh, I've got way too much solder on my iron, but it's not coming off onto the board. Why is that? Let me just try going sideways here a little bit. Okay, now some of it's coming off onto the board. Another thing I should have done first, actually, is I should have just run down the whole side of the board so that all the flux melted. Okay. Now I'm going to inspect visually up close because what we don't want to see is the hole at all. Um, and I still see the hole, so bring this back, clean off the tip of the iron. We don't want to see where the where the pin's going through the hole. We don't want to see the hole. The hole should be completely filled with solder. So I'm going to come in, and I see there's a couple places where it's bridging, like right there. But as soon as I put um, as soon as I put some fresh solder on it, it'll unbridge and it'll cling to the iron. Usually, that's what should happen. There we go. Yeah, so now that cling to the iron. There we go. And I'm just going back over each one of them, adding a little more solder. There we go. That's looking perfect. Solder is getting soaked up perfectly by the pins. Excellent. Yep, and now the solder. All the excess solder is starting to blob up and distribute appropriately, except right there it's not. Let's put some fresh solder. Fresh solder has clean flux in it. The flux burns away. So even if you have too much solder, you might need to add more solder just so that it gets the flux or add flux. Okay, there we go. That looks really good. Let me take a minute to inspect that and then we'll flip it over and do the other side. Now, there's one danger here. <laughs> I, it, I did not sufficiently check the angle. Let's see. Oh, let's put that back in autofocus for a second. So I did not sufficiently check the angle at which I'd put this in. And so it is angled weirdly. So hopefully um, I'll be able to... Ah, there we go. Good. That's what we want to see right there. That's perfect. Um, but I, I am, since I had it in at a weird angle, I am going to clean off my iron again. So put some fresh solder on it. Get rid of that huge, gigantic blob of solder that it accumulated. Add some more fresh solder to it. Clean off the fresh solder. This is the secret to uh, having even a cheap iron work really, really well. And then put some more fresh solder on it so it's wet. And then I'm just going to go in between each of these until you can kind of see they shimmer a little bit when they melt. And it only takes about a second. Um, again, I think I mentioned before, you always want to pick the biggest tip that you have. It's something I probably need to cut back into the beginning, actually. Magic video editing, um, back to doing the other side here. So I'm gonna do what I didn't do on the first side. Well, this part I did. Let me clean off the iron tip again. I'm just over here cleaning off the iron tip and then put some fresh solder on. I'm basically like, if you let your iron just stay hot for 30 seconds, it's time to clean the tip again. If you're not actively using it for about 30 seconds or so, that's kind of the metric I go by to say when you need to clean the tip. All right, so I got the tip clean. I'm gonna wet it. Okay, tip's wet, just a little bit wet. 
And I'm just going to go along each of these so I can melt the flux. So that's all I'm doing here. And this doesn't take long at all because the flux is just basically tree sap, almost like a wax. And that, uh, that tip is a couple hundred degrees, 300 degrees maybe Celsius. Okay, so now all the flux is melted. Now I'm going to go back and uh, let me get the tip very wet, a little too wet even. And then stick it between two pins. Again, next two pins. Next, next, next. Oh, and I'm out of solder. I need to pull my solder out here. Okay, I don't remember where I was, but it doesn't matter because we're going to go over this a second time anyway. Um, the goal is to put, you know, it's easy to take solder off. Clean solder anyway. Boom. So I've got too much solder on here, we can tell, because of the big ball that it left at my tip. But before that oxidizes and goes bad, I'm going to go back. Hit the first two, the second two. Do, do, do each one. And I see it melt. Visually inspect, it looks like maybe that could actually lose, use a little more. Anytime it starts sucking off the tip, because for most of these, it's not sucking anything off the tip. They're already saturated. All right, now I want to show a bridge, um, just so you can see what that's like. So I'm going to put way too much solder on here. I'm going to plop it right there. Okay, so that, that right there, whoops, if you could see it, that is a bridge. And typically, the easiest way to remove the bridge is to clean your iron. Uh, you might want to get a little bit of flux on the bridge directly on the bridge itself. So let me just get a little bit of the jelly here and just kind of get it on the bridge. And that just kind of melted because the bridge is still hot. I'm going to put fresh tin on my iron and I'm going to clean it because we do want to actually get rid of that. Um, so we don't want to have excess on the iron if we can avoid it even though it'll probably work with a little bit of excess on it. The sponges are not very good. What we normally use, let me show you what we normally use. This is what we normally use. These work excellent, watch. Stinks perfect every time. I've got that, it's got plenty of flux on it. My iron's nice and dry, and I just go up to it, and boop, and it's gone. I don't know if you even saw that. It happened so quickly. And so I'm just gonna go across each of these again. They're all melting as I go, and boom. Perfect solder joints. That's how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, we've got a little solder on the breadboard, but that's all right. So I'm gonna let this cool for a second, because uh, right now it's very hot, and um, to be honest, I might have, well, I didn't have it too much into the breadboard, so it shouldn't have melted it much, if at all. No, I didn't, it was just laying on the top there. These, these are deceptive. These little balls will give you blisters, even after they've been cool for what seems like a while. Okay. So with that arduous process, um, we are now ready to go ahead and stick this thing in the breadboard and let's stick it in so that the numbers actually match up. Uh, the numbers aren't gonna match up on this because they're all kind of random. Like there's A1 and there's C15 and all that. So they're not actually gonna match up, that's fine. So one more thing, um, I've got these medical Q-tips. So they're like the Q-tips that you're not supposed to stick in your ear but they're nylon and I've got this, um, this is like for, I don't know, it's like a beauty salon supply thing, but I put a high, high percentage alcohol in it, like 99% or 97% or something like that. If you can't get that isopropyl of, it, it's isopropyl, but the highest percentage you can get, which is typically at the hardware store rather than in the medical section of like Walmart, more likely to find it at, at Ace Hardware than you are at Walmart. Um, but this stuff from Walmart works too. Anyway, and you can clean the flux off, the excess flux off, just by going along with your little medical Q-tip. And you don't want to use a real Q-tip because um, it'll get the little cotton fibers everywhere and whatnot. But, and this is just like a nice thing. You don't, you don't need to do this. It just makes the board look nicer and feel nicer. So you don't have any of the sticky residue left over. And it will get rid of the excess flux. So now we've got a super nice clean board. Let's just find a nice place for it and go ahead and oh, snap it on down. And that's where she will stay uh, for the next little while as we move forward. Okay, so I thought we were done. There's one more thing that I need to go over before we end that. Um, one is when you've got these little solder balls, uh, maybe you can see that one right there. Um, 
you don't want to touch them for a good 10 or 15 minutes. They're tiny. They look like, oh yeah, you know, they're going to cool really fast, but sometimes they don't. Um, so just be aware of that. Also, make sure that, um, you know, you unplug your iron when you're done, but before you unplug it, you want to go through that ritual again. You want to, you want to coat the iron with uh, fresh solder and that's how you want to store it. So I'm going to go ahead and this has been sitting for a couple minutes um, on while I went to the bathroom to wash my hands. By the way, you might need to wash your hands with soap and then also wash them with alcohol to get the sticky off from the, the resin. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to wet my tip. I'm going to get it too wet. Uh, it should be nice and coated with solder here. And then I am going to immediately wipe all the fresh solder off. Ooh, almost burned myself there. Um, ah, gosh, I need to go back to the real thing here. That's a trademark sound that it makes. Then I'm actually gonna unplug the iron. Uh, okay, I just I just unplugged it, and now as as it's still cooling, it's still super hot. I'm gonna put a nice whoops, let me get this underneath of there. A nice coat of solder all around the iron. Too much solder, and that is how it's gonna stay. So now I'm gonna put it back in its little shelf. And it's turned off. 